Well, we have a chance of seeing northern lights across Minnesota tonight. Problem is going to be what we often face, cloud cover. Will the clouds stay away? But there was a coronal mass ejection, which is basically junk from the sun, uh, made it towards Earth's magnetic field late last night, and that's the setup for a potential geomagnetic storm. Now, if it aligns just right with Earth's magnetic field, that's when we get the northern lights. But the KP index, the uh, way we measure that activity uh, on Earth's magnetic field is going to be pretty high, moderate to high. This is tonight from uh, basically 7 p.m. through 4 a.m. And the peak will be in that 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. time frame. So if you're up late and if the clouds happen to break up overhead, you have a chance. Uh, when we get this high level of activity, that's when the aurora oval or that visibility of the northern lights uh, gets a little further south. So it's possible in Iowa and even northern Illinois to see it tonight if you have clear skies. So here's forecast cloud cover through the day today. The southern half of Minnesota, we see a fair amount of sunshine, but tonight you can see a lot of clouds around still. There will be some pockets of clear skies though, maybe in parts of northern and southern Minnesota. So again, if you happen to notice the skies are clear, Maybe take a look uh, at the sky, of course, away from lights. Yesterday, the rain was all confined in northern Minnesota, but up to three to four inches fell in a very small area around Little Fork, uh, Big Falls near Badette. And that's actually a pocket of northern Minnesota that has been seeing some dry weather. This is rainfall deficits for the last 90 days, three to four inches behind in just a very narrow area there. Of course, we know much of the area up around Rainy Lake and up on the Iron Range has been seeing a surplus. But yesterday's rain, heaviest of it, actually did fall kind of where it needed to. So we are going to see more of these spotty showers and storms again for mostly northern Minnesota today into tonight in northwestern Wisconsin. But then as we head into early tomorrow, some of this activity, this unsettled weather will start to drift into southern Minnesota. And especially tomorrow with a little daytime heating, we'll pop into the low 80s. We'll see some peaks of sun. That'll be enough to see at least some spotty showers and thunderstorms. And then that upper level low develops. That's when we'll see lots of clouds and showers rotate through on Friday. So Friday, probably the more wetter day as far as consistency of the showers. And then Saturday, that could drift more into Iowa. So the core of the upper level low uh, is shifting a little bit, the track further south, which we'll show you here in a second. But as far as rainfall goes uh, through the weekend, models, of course, vary. But generally, you can see there is the potential for some one to two inch amounts across Minnesota. It's just a matter of where exactly that happens. But as I mentioned, that wave that comes through tomorrow becomes a cutoff low. You'll see once it's a full circle uh, with that cool air aloft and the center of it as we head into Friday, Saturday sinks into southern Iowa. So Iowa, Illinois might see the crummiest weather Saturday and we might actually be mainly dry now Saturday. Still a few showers around, but uh, where that upper level low sits, that's where you'll have the more numerous showers and that looks to be for us on Friday. So still a couple warm days uh, near normal today and tomorrow, low 80s. Uh, again, today the showers mainly to the north and then tomorrow statewide, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then we'll have a lot of clouds, occasional showers Friday. And then the bulk of that more sustained activity again, dives south here probably Saturday and then we'll gradually get brighter and drier heading into early next week.